Türkiye Yeşilay Cemiyeti Başkanı Profesör Doktor Sayın İhsan Karaman'a konuşmaları için teşekkür ediyoruz. Sempozyumun önemli paydaşlarından biri olan Avrupa Konseyi Pompidou Grup Başkanı Sayın Daniel Jordan Menninger'i konuşmalarını yapmak üzere sahneye davet ediyorum. Mr. President of the Turkish Republic, Ministers, Members of the Parliament, Mr. President of the Turkish Green Christian Society, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my gratitude to the Turkish Green Christian Society for organizing this symposium on drug policy and public health and for inviting me to address you here today. It's a great pleasure to be in Istanbul this morning, and I am honored to be able to share a few remarks as president of the Pompidou Group of the Council of Europe. Turkey adhered to the Pompidou Group in 1980, and since then is a solid partner. It is indeed very timely and relevant to gather us all in this conference as new challenges related to drugs, addiction, public health, and security are arising in all of our countries. The symposium provides us with the opportunity to improve our work and adapt our responses to an evolving situation as we have the opportunity to share good practices among all stakeholders. In different proportions, all countries are producing, transiting, and consuming countries. We often face the same challenges, and we have therefore to share our best practices and unite our forces. Drug phenomenon is changing rapidly. Internet is becoming one of the main tools to sell and buy drugs in particular new synthetic drugs. But it is also an excellent tool to pass prevention messages. Polydrugs use the combined use of illicit and licit substances, tobacco, alcohol, addiction, without substance, is beckoning the most path of consumptions. These challenges require us to respond efficiently and appropriately. International cooperation is therefore more necessary than ever, since these issues cannot be tackled individually by each country. But rather through a common approach in order to make our efforts more efficient. We ought to keep developing coordinated and multidisciplinary responses to these challenges. It is very important that these responses find the appropriate balance between the safety and sanitary concerns. We, in the Pompidou Group, believe drug policy should be balanced and evidence balanced. Balanced policy means that we have to prevent, by all means, and an early stage, the consumption that we have to fight against drug trafficking and the criminal organization, and that we have to take care of drug users, providing them a comprehensive continuum of care. To build an evidence-based policy means that we also have to evaluate the effects of our policies and adapt them when scientific evidence is available to make them more effective. In this regard, we must always bear in mind that the respect of human rights and the enhancement of public health are overreaching objectives. Since Frank took over the presidency of the Pompidou Group in 2010, we highlighted those principles through our work. The Pompidou Group has taken initiatives in several fields with regards to prevention, law enforcement, 
treatment and harm reduction. Concerning prevention, we have sought to associate the public directly, particularly young people, by raising awareness about the dangers of addiction, notably through the prevention price. As for law enforcement, the main objective has been to reinforce international cooperation between all anti-trafficking agencies through regular meetings and common projects for training and coordination. As for the care, let me just quote the policy paper on preventing risk and reducing harm linked to the use of psychoactive substance that was adopted by the Pompidou Group in 2013. This document on knowledge drug addictions as a medical condition and other lines that appropriate treatment for those who suffer from addictive behaviors is part of the right to health. Let me underline that if many stats, states worldwide have made risk prevention and harm reduction an important part of their drug and addiction policies, it is not only because it should be a right, but because it has proved it worth in reducing the social and health consequences of psychoactive substance use. It is evidence-based. As for the way forward, I believe it leads in our cooperation, an effective approach that tackles the social, security, and health-related challenges caused by drugs. Civil society and the general public should also be involved in the effort deployed by the public policies. The work of the Green Crescent Society in Turkey is a notable example of cooperation between government and civil society. I am convinced that only through an inclusive approach we will bring satisfying results to our citizens. We will remain steadfast in our commitments and look forward to cooperate with and involve stakeholders in the national and international arenas. Hence, we look forward to having Turkey remain an engaged actor within the Pompidou Group and play its full role in this forum of international cooperation. I wish you an interesting and fruitful meeting during these three days and I thank you for your attention.